I don't need anything from there. Are you? Yeah! Oh, bloody hell. You nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, silly me. Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, it's not your fault. I scare way too easily. I'm just silly like that. Anyway. You must be the new girl. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Laura. But everyone calls me Lorelei. That's pretty. Nice to meet you, Lorelei. And you. Have you been working here long, Maria? Well, it will be three years soon. God. Three years in this crumbling old crap hole. It's that bad? <laughs> nah, it's alright. Depends who you work with, really. Like, you can't get on with everyone, can you? I'm supposed to get my uniform here. It's right there, on the shelf, waiting for you. The blue one? Yep, same as mine. You'll get a couple more next week. They've been ordered, but there's some kind of delay. Ugh, I don't know. I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. I've never had a job before, but I really want to do well. You know, I want to prove that I can do this. You'll be fine. I'll look after you. Right. Let's get changed then. Okay. You go ahead. I'll meet you downstairs by the nurse's station. Oh, one more thing, Lorelai. Yes? You met Zoe, the senior carer, right? The one with the big bum and, like, really bad manners? I think so, yeah. Well, don't worry too much about her. She's got her knickers in a twist over many things, but I assure you, none of them is your fault. So, just keep smiling and she'll be all right eventually, yeah? Well, I'll try. Thanks for the heads up. Good. See you in a minute, Lorelai. took your time, didn't you? Are you always late for everything? We'll have to work on your timekeeping. This is a serious institution. There's no room here for slackers. Well, I guess I should introduce you now. Girls, we have a new carer with us today. Her name's Laura. Hi. You've already met Maria. That's Nisha. She's from India. Hello, Nisha. And I'm Zoe. I'm one of the senior carers, and I'm in charge in the absence of Mr. B, the manager and the owner of Pinecroft. He's the chap who did your job interview last week, Laura. Yes, I remember him. 
We must ensure the place is in top shape in case he pops in to check on us. The night staff have already handed over to us and they've gone home. You missed that, Laura. Because you were late. There are 15 elderly residents living here in Pinecroft. Most of them suffer from advanced dementia and Alzheimer's. Some can be difficult. Some can be aggressive. So I'd like Laura to shadow one of you girls today. Nisha, would you mind showing Laura what to do? Can I do it? No, Maria. Nisha's worked here longer than you and... Mr B asked me to go around with Laura yesterday. I promised him I would. But... You don't mind, Nisha, do you? I don't mind. Thanks. You're a star, Nisha. Fine. Whatever. I'll work upstairs with Nisha then. You two will wash and dress the ladies on the ground floor. Oh, and that new lady who moved in last night into Beryl's old room. She's yours too. Really? Yes. She's easy. Didn't even move so far, apparently. I'm sure you can manage. You coming, Nisha? Why did you choose to work with me? Oh, you know, I like to punish myself. No, really. That was nice what you did. No offense to Nisha, but I think I'll enjoy shadowing you more. Of course you will, because I'm the best. You might well be, but your days are numbered. Just wait and see. The new girl will climb right to the top. <laughs> Please do. Then you'll have to work with Zoe every day. Huh? Why? She likes to work with the best ones so they do everything for her. Oh. Well, I think it's official. Zoe hates me. She is a bit of a bully, I told you earlier. But don't let it upset you. Like, earlier, when she was giving you shit about being late, you said nothing. Perfect. You didn't piss her off, and you kept your face. But we shouldn't really be talking about it here. Did Mr. B really ask you to mentor me? No. Mr. B doesn't give a rat's ass. But shush. That's between me and you, yeah? So... What do we do now? We should start working, I guess. But first, let me show you a couple of things. This little desk is what we call our nurse's station. That's where we keep care files and stuff. This white door in the middle, that's kitchen. Don't bother talking to Al. He's a good chef, but he drinks too much. Everyone knows that. That's the main lounge. There's another one, but smaller. You probably went past it earlier. Fire extinguisher? <laughs> I know, boring. But you'll be getting your fire training every six months triangle of fire and all that. I promise you'll be sick of it. And what's that fancy panel for? That? Oh. It's the alarm bell panel. You see, there's a bell in every room. If someone needs help, they ring it. The display will show you the room number. You silence the bell here, and then you go see what's happening. But... No one ever uses it. Unless by accident. These poor old ladies can't even remember their own names most of the time, let alone something like this. Oh. Yeah. I think we'll start with Marjorie. She's a nice lady. Follow me. Hello, my darling. What a beautiful morning, isn't it? 
and we have Lorelai with us today. She's a lovely young lady. She's helping us today. Good morning. That's a very nice room, Marjorie. Lovely flowers. I bet you have a big loving family that thinks about you all the time. As a matter of fact, it was Marjorie's 85th birthday yesterday. Everyone came, didn't they? Even your brother Derek from Australia. Okay, what now? Now, we get Marjorie washed and dressed. Please uh, take the two flannels from the sink. The white one is for the face. The brown one... You know. Now fill up the sink with hot water. She hasn't even got a toothbrush. She doesn't need one. She hasn't got teeth, Lorelei. Done. Marjorie, my darling. It's time for your wash. Give us a hand, would you? She can't walk on her own. We just need to get that nighty off. It felt wet. Yeah. The night staff only put a small pad on her. They should have known better. Anyway, shall we? Marjorie, could you lift up your arms for us, please? All right. You're doing really well so far, Lorelei. But now comes the tricky part. Which is? We have to wash her. Now, some people struggle at first. I'll do it if it's too much too soon. But you are welcome to try. It's up to you. I'll do it. Brilliant. I'll just have a little stretch on the bed. And pretend it doesn't smell of wee. Am I doing it right, Maria? Yeah. You know, Marjorie used to be just like you and me. Young and pretty, full of life. At 17, she fell in love with George. And they were married for 50 years. Can you imagine? 50. I couldn't even last two with my hubby. But George... Bless his soul, was a kind and gentle man. He'd never hit his wife. God, it broke her heart when he died. But anyway, she was just a little girl when the war started. And she saw it, you know? Bombs falling on London. The city on fire.
think I dozed off. That's a comfy bed you've got here, Marjorie. Finished. I suppose we should find some clothes now? Yep. Yeah. Open the wardrobe and find something you like. Well, the cardi and skirt combination never gets old, I guess. Wait, Lorelei. I'll help you with this. <gasps> Marjorie! You look absolutely... beautiful. Let's take you to the lounge so everyone can admire this smashing outfit. Alright, we've got one ready for the day. Now we can go to Dorothy. She's only next door to Marjorie where we've just been. Or we can try Alma. Her room's just past the nurse's station. Your call. Cool. Let's go see Dorothy next. Okie doke. Let's go. What's up, Marjorie? So dark in here. Oh, Dorothy likes her sleep. She could stay in bed all day. That's one thing we have in common, Dorothy and me. Because otherwise, she's a grumpy old hag, especially first thing in the morning. Hello, Dorothy! Rise and shine! Come on now! I know you're awake! Now, that's very rude, sweetheart. Come on, lovely. Up we go. Richard! Richard! Oh, where are you? B boogers! Ready to have an awesome day? Job done. Alma's up next. I'll meet you outside her room. on the floor are you okay I'm fine, dear. come on the other side and give me a hand Lorelei lucky lady not a scratch on you but God, I'm gonna feel all that lifting in my back for a week. So thanks for that, Alma. We're young and strong. We'll be fine. <laughs> I like your attitude, girl. But now we have all this mess on the floor to clean up. What is it anyway? I don't know. But I'll have a look. It's a very old letter. A whole bunch of them, actually. My darling wife. I am writing this letter in case I don't make it through tomorrow. We have just received orders to attack first thing in the morning. I 
have a bad feeling about this. And I think, should the worst happen, you ought to know one thing about me I've never told you before. Ah, but the rest has been torn off. Jesus, Alma. You kept this with you all that time. And now you wipe your ass with it? Now it's time for a coffee break. What? So soon? <laughs> what do you mean soon? It's half past ten already. Really? Time flies when you're having fun. I'll put the kettle on. But before we go, can you take the dirty laundry upstairs and chuck it in the wash? Yeah. I've left the laundry bag by the nurse's station. Nobody's told me to Hoover, and I really hope they don't. That's where the dirty laundry goes. You all right? I'm good. Mr. B just called. He won't be coming in today. Oh, okay. He'd crashed his car this morning. Apparently, some dog chasing a cat ran out in front of it, and he drove into a lamppost to avoid running them over. Then I thought you mentioned a dog earlier. You wouldn't have anything to do with this, would you? What are the chances? Don't be ridiculous. I feel like you'd blame me for anything at this point. And that's really unfair, you know? I'm doing my best here, so please stop picking on me. But Laura, I'm just trying to teach you some respect. Fine. If you feel like I lack respect, I'll try harder now. Having this job is important to me. I will do anything to keep it. In that case, go and make us all a cup of tea. Oh, Maria's already on it. Go on then. Or I'll be down shortly. Oh, I'd ask her to put plenty of milk in it. She always forgets. is yours. Mmm, it smells lovely. Oh, I met Zoe upstairs. She asked for a cup of tea as well. Yeah, I made it. I always make it. The yellow mug is Zoe's. Did you put plenty of milk in? Yes. Looks almost black to me. Ugh, I don't know. I don't drink tea. You know... We don't want to piss her off more, so... You go ahead. I'll get more milk from the kitchen and join you in a minute. Oh, you're a gem. Thanks! 
Wait, what about Nisha? Oh, Nisha drinks water. She's all right. There we go. Wait a second. What's this? No, I couldn't. Could I? Enjoy your cuppa, bitch. Didn't I tell Maria I'd put more milk in Zoe's coffee before I go? Ugh. from a... Oh, never mind. Do you want one? Sure, why not? makes my head spin. Is this your first one? Yep. Then that's normal, mate. So, why do you want to work here of all places? Well, I couldn't afford to go to college, so that kind of limits my choices. But I can't stay at home anymore either. The sooner I move out, the better. And for that, I need money. Oh, so you can like rent a place. Yeah, as long as I'm out of there. Sounds like your family is pretty fucked up. It's mostly my stepdad. He's just a big bag of shite. Has he... I'd never let him. God, I'd rather die. But, but you know, it'll be okay. You'll stand on your own two feet and none of that will matter. And in the meantime, if you need a friend... <laughs> I suppose you've got plenty of friends already. All my friends from school just moved on. Even my best mate, Carrie. She still texts me once a month, but she never comes over anymore. It's fine though. She's got enough going on. You should try internet. It's what I do. I'm in this group and we talk about kids mostly. I can't go on the internet. My mom won't pay for the Wi-Fi. Wait, did you say you got kids? Yeah, I got two boys. I was only 17 when I had Kieran. And Sam, only two years later. You married then? No. How about you? You got a boyfriend? Well... There's Zach who lives next door. 
he's a geek, all right. But he's kind of cool. He waited for me this morning just to give me an umbrella. Zack? Is he American? Nah. He just likes to be called Zack for some reason. You know, I will go out with him. If he ever asks, of course. He almost did today. But he chickened out at the last moment, I think. Sounds like a decent bloke. Those overconfident macho types are not worth your time, trust me. <laughs> me and you. We should be friends. I agree. Unless... <laughs> Unless you'd rather be friends with Zoe. No way that's ever gonna happen. I bumped into her upstairs earlier and she was just being horrible again. I mean, what is her fucking problem? Oh, she's just insecure. I told you. Well, I won't let her bully me. She'll give it up soon. <laughs> Once you get to know her, she ain't so bad. <laughs> You'll see. We should probably get back now. It's time to see that new lady. Okay. I'll meet you outside her room. It's upstairs. What's her name? Oh, um... Retta, I think. Yeah, I remember someone's mentioned she was an artist. And she's got some creepy-ass paintings in her room. But she's new, so she hasn't got a name tag yet. Just look for the door with no name tag on it. Okay, upstairs, door with no name tag. Go away! Oh! Okay. Sorry. You all right in there? Oh, shut up. Just to let you know, we've got everything under control, so take as long as you need in there. The kitchen's on fire. What? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs>